think would be the uh, would be your timetable for preparation what do you uh, suggest to us okay. students uh again i would say that i'm not the kind of snack person who is like you know who is a strict timetable follower no i'm not and i mess up a lot with my schedule every time i make a schedule i make sure that i'm going to mess it up so yes that's the kind of person who i am so i didn't follow any strict timetables as you mentioned but like my strategy was that if i uh, like i used to give days to my topics for example if i have to do group theory and uh, like i feel this intuition from within me that it is going to take my 3 days so yeah i just may make up my mind that in my 3 days i have to give it my all and i have to prepare it no matter what so yeah i don't restrict my time to each day rather i i focus on completing task within number of days Okay, That's so nice you nice. mean to say that you had uh, ultimately focused uh, on the target which you have mm, prepared exactly. for yourself and yeah. not on the timetable. Yeah. Okay, so you know you are not a kind of a person who was bound by exactly. time. Exactly. Absolutely. So, uh, what do you think should be the strategy of a person during the examination time? What should he do during the time when he is sitting in front of the computer screen? Okay. Uh, well, it depends upon students, I guess. But like. just in case you are all well prepared and you are there to just crack the exam then you should have this in your mind that uh you have to look at your question paper like you have to attempt and go through each of the question paper so make sure that you are managing your time well and you uh like if there is a question who which is taking a lot of time of yours then you can skip it feel free to skip it but make sure that you are looking at each and every question because you you don't know when are you getting any question which can give you a lot of marks and rather than wasting a uh, lot of your time in any one question so yes like main thing in short i would say that try to attempt all the questions please do not skip any of the questions yeah okay so this is one of the common question which has been asked by many of the students that yeah. have you joined any test series for your preparation uh, okay so for test series i would say okay i'm going to say the truth like uh, in my the institution which has joined that is sp institute it already it has it has a lot to offer to you okay so like we had a test every sundays also we had week test we had test sometimes we were having test like four days in a week or maybe you get you get your test schedule in entire week like so you don't have free time but like still uh, you know yeah, it never feels uh, old to not go for extra so like i was the kind of person who wanted to do extra no matter what I, like i was ready to push myself for anything so i also joined some online test series but 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 that test series did no help to me i was not able to cope up with all those tests and what i noticed was the fact that most of the questions were of net jrf and not of my exam like my ambition for that point was jam and like yes this question were not uh, they were not coherent with the syllabus that i needed so okay, yes. so you mean to say that the ultimate test series which you have participated yeah, in was, was that provided by the sbs exactly and no other test series you have yeah. done what about the previous years questions should our students uh, uh, yes that is very important the i think like while you are preparing on your topics make sure that you are checking yourself by attempting all the previous year question papers like select your topic and then go on to at least you can like if you don't want to do all the question papers and make sure to attempt at least the last past five or six year question papers and just get yourself thorough with those topics and the best way to do that is test yourself through the jam question papers there, there are no better sample papers damn jam sample papers like jam question papers okay, previous so you mean to say that the students should make themselves aware of the types of questions yeah, that exactly. come in the jam examination now this is going to be one of the famous question that people would like to ask to you yeah. and that is why have you preferred i uh, i sir tirupati over iit kharagpur you know that iit has a very famous tagline in our country and why had you preferred uh, preferred uh, i sir over iit uh, yeah okay so like Uh, I knew that IIT holds a big name in our entire nation and also like outside our nation. But then, uh, what I had in my mind and heart was that I, in the end, I wanted to see myself pursuing research in pure mathematics. Like that was my core reason, I would say. And IIT Kharagpur is no doubt it's a it's an excellent institution and it offers. you a strong platform for your applied mathematics it also has like subjects like linear algebra in its first semester and all but then like i was so much drive towards pure mathematics that when i looked over the courses that i satyapati pati had to offer them i was you know i was just 
attracted to it so much that I just left out the idea of IT, IT Kharagpur and then I just went on with Isotherapathy. It's basically the sole idea was my interest towards pure mathematics. Okay, so you mean to say that IIT are not the only premier institutes in our exactly. country, there are other institutes yeah. as well. One more point that I would like to add is that, come on now, ISA is our Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research and I don't think like they are made to provide you um, a space wherein you can you can have your research oriented environment you are going to meet with great people you know great scientists great st students people who have like you know unfathomable um, urge for research and that is a place which is going to inspire you a lot in your research team. and also you are going to get help a lot and like IITs uh, as they sound they are in the institutes of technology I know that yeah they offer you a nice place for research as well but then I felt more attracted towards okay. I So ultimately yeah. you mean to say that if somebody has to pursue their career in technological sciences or something yeah. like engineering then he would prefer IIT over the other institutes yeah. but if somebody wants to do research or if somebody is yeah. research oriented And he gets a chance Yeah of course and he <laughs> gets a chance so he should prefer he can. I, uh, yeah. he, he should, I mean, uh, according okay. to you, prefer uh, institutes like IASC Bangalore and oh, exactly. ICER over yeah. the no doubt about that. So this was a case with you. She was interested in uh, pure mathematics yeah. and wanted to pursue her career in research. So you opted ICER Tirupati over IIT Kharagpur. So uh, you got, uh, you're doing joint uh, MSc PhD? I'm doing integrated MS PhD. Okay, so you're doing integrated MS PhD and that's a course for six years. Six years. Alright, so that's a wonderful thing to know from yeah. you. Can you please explain a bit of your course as well? Uh, okay, so like I have my, my, my integrated MS PhD goes like for the first two years you are going to be an MS student and you are going to go through all the core subjects of your pure, pure mathematics and like by the end of your second year you will have to find out what subject really interests you and find out your coordinator like uh, the one with whom you would want to pursue your research and then later on you can you can also search on uh, search about it on the websites and then you have to give a lot of comprehensive exams a uh, one comprehensive exam and you have to do two TAs and like they have their own set of rules and set of um, uh, set of strategies strategies for you to qualify as a PhD student in there and then after you finish your six year course then you are awarded with both your MS and PhD degrees okay so you mean to say that after doing two years of MS if you are not getting eligible CGPAs in your course then you would not be permitted to do your PhD uh, yeah and I think the minimum CGPA course for here is 6.5 okay so if you're getting 6.5 and that's not a big deal and at you all. have to do some extra things like I said two TAs and a comprehensive exam there are a lot of things okay. you would know when you would read the handbook of IPSG I think yeah all right, so you need to say that 6.5 CGPA in MS is not a big deal and probably students would get over it to get into the If you're working course. hard, <laughs> provide it. Yeah, that's of course is yeah. a uh, condition for that. And uh, lastly, what suggestion would you like to, uh, suggestions are almost done, but what, uh, 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 whom do you want to give your credit to for your uh, success? Whom do you acknowledge for this success? Okay, so the basically the first step uh, which I was able to step on uh, throughout this journey of my success was I would like to name uh, Pangas sir for it because he was really the most inspiring person I have ever met in my life and he is the kind of person who would go on to motivate you a lot of times no, many, no matter how many times you're down he's going to stand over there right beside you and he's going to tell you that no you can do it you have to do it and like I, w I would not like to say second, but I would like to say that my mom and my family has done a lot for me. They have really sacrificed, I would say, yeah, sacrifice is the right word. Because yes, I was like, I had been like, there was no burden on me. I just had been told to just do whatever I like. If I want to, if I want to study, then I'm free to study. And like, they provided me with everything that I needed and required. So yeah. My family was a big support and obviously my mentor, my teacher, Pankaj sir was a big support, so yeah. Okay, so uh, probably for the girls it's very difficult and specifically yeah. in the field of mathematics exactly. to reach that position of doing research is probably difficult for the girls and for that you would uh, you are equally thankful to your teacher Pankaj sir and you're equally thankful to your parents as well for yeah. providing you with that platform. So she was exactly. uh, Yajushi Shirvastava and she has got AIR 139. She got selected in IIT Kharagpur and uh, also in ISAR Tirupati. So as she was uh, uh, 
very much interested in doing research in pure mathematics she preferred Aisar Tirupati over IIT Kharagpur and what suggestions she has for our students is that study hard work hard study smart and that's the only way to get into the premier institutes of the country through IIT Jha. So thank you very much.